that report. Now, imagine yourself on a piece of land where chairs keep sprouting up, all kinds in different shapes and sizes. Well, if you're anywhere near Denton, Texas, this picture you're playing in your head just became a reality. Eagle News correspondent Nanita Manawas has this fun story for us. Take a look. Today we're here in Denton, Texas at the Cherry Orchard. Started by longtime friends Ann Pearson and Judy Smith in 2015, the Cherry Orchard is free to the public and is one of the attractions in the city of Denton. My name is Judy Smith. My friend Ann and I were next door neighbors and we've owned this lot for over 40 years. And for many years in this back corner, in these trees, I would screw chairs into the into the trees and we always called it the cherry tree. And then about five years ago, Ann had the idea of expanding onto the ground and make a cherry orchard. And because we go to garage sales every Saturday, we thought we would find chairs and just bring them out here. So we took a hose, a garden hose, and we made an outline. And that's where we started filling it up with chairs. And it took us maybe three or four months and we came up with a hundred chairs. And it was so easy that we said, all right, we're just gonna keep going. So we moved the, the garden hose out further where it is now. And we just kept buying more chairs. Plus people donated chairs and we find them at curbs and uh, we go to thrift shops. So we have lots of ways of getting the chairs. And uh, now it's just growing every, every few months we think of something new. Like we recently did the libraries, which have children's books that are free. You don't even have to bring other ones back. We find more at garage sales. And we recently started having a scavenger hunt, which has been very successful. Uh, it's been fun watching people walk around with their pink slip and checking things off. Um, we have lots of other features that we are always changing. And the arch was made by our friend, Mark Holderbaum, who is an artist. And he welded 24 chairs together to make the, a kind of a grand entrance for us. So that's our, our, the, the beginning of the cherry orchard. And then we also have a, what we call the red fridge. That's a souvenir booth. And we sell postcards, bottled water, and pens that have cherry orchard on. And uh, that raises money for us to buy more chairs. And if we have extra money, we donate it to our daily bread, which feeds homeless men and women. I have always loved chairs because to me, a chair is like a little person. It has a back, it has legs, it has arms, and you can treat it like a person. We think that because every one of these chairs was chosen by somebody, they were bought in a store, they went into a home, they were in their bedroom or their dining room or their kitchen. You know, there's an aura here that these chairs belong to somebody, and we've given them a new life. Reporting from Denton, Texas, this is Nanita Minawis, Eagle News, we live in interesting times. Thank you, Nanita. I really like that story. I like that, um, I believe her name was Joyce. Uh, you know, what she said about a chair is just like a person. Uh, it has a back and legs. It's a beautiful story. And